Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Archives Baseball. Brand new release, just dropped today. 10 box, pick your team, number one. All card ship as well, so should be a lot of fun. Let's get to it. Big thanks everyone here for getting in on the action. Now if you have a little rooftop next to your name like Rick and Emma there, that means you won that spot in the team random. If you've got a little star next to your name, like Chase, that means you bought that team straight up. That was the last team, last bot mojo star next to your name. 70% of the time, last bot mojo hits 100% of the time. So they say. Shop's a little busy. I don't think we're gonna get some Evan's help here, but let's roll with this. Move that camera angle back this way so you can get a top down view of it. All right, and here we go. Yeah, let's see some archives. Gilo saying two on card autograph per box in this archives MLB stars in classic, in classic tops designs is what they're saying here. What else does it say on the box? Yeah, that's it. Ooh. We got these little postcards here. I like that. Kind of collect postcards. I might have to get into maybe buy some boxes here at our shop. All right. Um, has a. Uh, Any cool things people have seen out of these archives? I think there may be some, uh, there may be like umpire cards in here. I think Joe West might be in this set. If we if we run into something like that, then we'll, we'll be sure to send that, uh, we'll be sure to randomize it to somebody in the, uh, in the break. Everyone will get a shot at those. And there's, there's some image variations too that we'll have to try to keep an eye out for. The code at the, the, the serial number code on the back of these cards, it ends in 280, but all cards ship. So if we miss any of those variations, they'll definitely be on your way. Or if you get, when you get these in the mail, just be sure to check them out. I think CJ Abrams, Jaron Duran, Bobby Wood Jr., Seiya Suzuki, Julio Rodriguez, Royce Lewis, Spencer Torkelson, O'Neill Cruz, MJ Melendez, Wander Franco, those are your variations, so just look out for those. Gilo loves the archives. Rookies are plentiful, he says. Good, that's good to hear. I like to hear that. Yeah, a bunch of different years being honored here. Being represented in this set. A lot of parallels, one of one hunting as well. So I wonder I wonder if those if there could be autographs on those postcards. The box toppers. That'd be pretty cool. Has anyone seen those? I don't know. I need to scan through this checklist here but and then we got more archives in the store but jazbeescasebreaks.com that Brady box that you had in the mixer a couple weeks ago did somebody open did you, did you open it I did not it was a giveaway it was a giveaway yeah. okay. try this no because I just did one right yeah and Nick has the one that's 
Put it at number one in the pickaxe giveaway because the same it was value 2000. Uh -huh. So it's supposed to be one item, right? I, I'm pretty sure it's one item per box. Yeah, right. But in the sell sheet, there was one box out of however many they made. They made a hundred. Four. Correct. And I they just made hit it. You just hit it? I hit right now, yeah. It was all four items. That's the awesome. The helmet, the baseball, the full size helmet. They, and the well, the, the Hit Parade advertises it as, yeah, and I was like, what as like that's a thirteen thousand dollar. Yeah, because uh, possibly. because that's why wow. we put it at number one because the second prize was less value, it was more value, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we didn't know what it was going to be in that title. But it, wow, yeah. that's awesome. I can take a picture right now, but there's too many people. Ooh, that is awesome. Cool, I got it. Okay. All right, so good luck, good. everybody. There's Brandon Lowe, Actually, six out of 15. Um, nice, nice okay, low guys, number. Maybe take that off the desktop, like unhit it from there, so that way we don't get it. It's kind of cool seeing like current okay. players in those old school designs. Uh, Brandon Lowe for the Rays, that'll be for Chase. And there's our first on-card autograph, Goose, Goose Gossage. Let's see if we can get that into the top loader. There we go. Yankees. And that's 72 out of 150 for the Bronx Bombers. That's for Nestor. Wander Franco. That's also for Chase and the Rays. Yeah, this is a pretty pretty fun set just to buy outright. I think we have personals of those on our uh, on our personal break side, Gilo, if you want to grab one from us or support your local hobby shop, obviously. And we got a Mike Trout, 14 out of 50. Nice red foil there for the Halos, a little color match going to Jarrett and the Angels. Got the angels in that filler. Hmm. Another goose sausage. Double double goose. Talk to me, goose. This one is not numbered. So that'll be for Nestor and the Yankees getting both of those autos. Starting your Goose Gossage PC, whether you had intended to or not. All right, box one in the books. And I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this video too. Next postcard, greetings from Chicago. That's Luis Robert. So that first one was Atlanta. That's pretty cool. This one, uh, which went to Emma and the Braves. And the Luis Robert will go to uh, Adam and the White Sox. Greetings from Chicago by way of Hermosa Beach, California. Right, deuce, goose. Oh, you know what? I think the the Dodger game's supposed to start. It has started. Bottom of the first, one out already.
Trey Turner up to bat. And, ooh, a hot shot to Manny Machado for the second out. A hot corner. And we've got a bit of a pitching duel happening in the other game. Only three hits total between the Phillies and the Braves. And after scoring a total of 13 runs yesterday, no runs, two hits for the Phillies and a single hit for the Braves, and that's that. I know, 12 pitches late, Gilo. The times are all weird. I gotta get used to playoff times. Half an inning late. The Padres already scored a run. How did that happen? I say that's a solo homer ah, by Manny Machado. Yeah, and the delayed Braves game threw me off. Because that would have been over by now if it started at North. The rain didn't delay it. Second archives box, two of ten. All card ship. So again, in case I breeze by a variation unwittingly, it'll still happen. It'll still get sent to you. It's A Rod to one ninety nine. That is Rangers edition going to Gary. And Freddie Freeman, solo shot. Off you, Darvish. Nice. There's a draft pick, Chaz McCormick, rookie auto for the Astros. Aaron picked up the Astros at 401 feet, 106 mile per hour, exit velo. Rookie card, Bobby Witt Jr., Jeff Thomas, Royals. Oh, yeah. I think Jason's got it. Got to get the game on, boys. Freddie Freeman just hit one out. Did he really? Yeah. Machado hit a solo shot at the top, and then Freddie Freeman just hit a solo shot. Paul checked. Thank you, Paul. And the box hoppers don't come autographed. That would be cool if they, if there were auto versions of that. Good fella. What's going on? Giants have some fun autos. Juan Marichal, 84 years old, still signing. Yeah. <laughs> There's Jake McCarthy to 125 for the Snakes. That's right. I think we pulled one of her autos uh, in, in, per, in our personals page. On Instagram at Jaspie's Breaks, but yeah, Alyssa Nakin, right? First full-time female coach. It's Wander Franco. Uh, part of the Yankees organization, right? And there's Carlos Pena for the Rays. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. Chase. 11 out of 25. And we got a red Juan Soto to 50. 
12 out of 50. Still national edition there, it's going to Derek and the Nats. box. Ah, so the normal so, so the normal size postcard uh, postcard cards could get could be autographed, but the these ones won't. That's pretty cool though. Mookie Betts, greetings from LA. Nice he is very involved in local communities. He's ingrained himself in the community already. Deeply. Dodgers. That's going to go to Chris Walker. Got my Dodgers in the team random. Yeah, Rex, we've been keeping an eye on that game, too. Quite a pitching duel in Atlanta. Are both starters still in the game? I think so, yeah. Zach Wheeler threw five, four strikeouts, no walks, one hit. And uh, Kyle Wright is still pitching. Five and a third, five strikeouts, one walk and only two hits. And on a Freddie Freeman solo shot, Dodgers tied it up 1-1. Machado had a solo shot in the top of the first. I thought Trent Grisham, oh, just missed it. He had the right angle on it, though. Actually, from that angle, I think it was always, I don't think that I was ever going to be in reach unless he grew an extra foot. Yeah, the uh, 1987 card. Those are the wood frame cards, I think, right? Pretty iconic set. That's when we first started collecting, says Rex. Next box, good luck. Archives, brand new release. We've got more in the store. Check it out, draspiescasebreaks.com. Look at this dick right here, Dick Hall. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, don't mean. <laughs> no, that's his name, come on. <laughs> nice dick. Nice dick, Hall, that is. For the Orioles, that's gonna go to Brent. What's his name? Josh Lowe. 61 out of 125. Oh, man, I was by the wall. I oh, no, no, no. Another one for <laughs> the, the uh, Rays. That'll be for Chase. Oh, yeah? So hopefully they don't believe him. Yes. No, G G Lo likes the old school cards more. Cards these days overly complicated, just too millennial for uh, for G Lo. G Lo's getting old. He just needs big letters, big names, big logos. There's Eddie Broussard. Uh, old Red Sox, 98 out of 99. That'll be for Jeffrey. Gilo's going blind. I guess he's just getting old. It's 
Like, I don't like these new cards. Sheila wants him to be like like this old old card, like this Robbie Ray card right here. Just red background, just his face. <laughs> We got both of our autos. Let's see if we can find some more numbered stuff. There's Mike Zunino, that's to 199, right up there, kind of hidden on the cartoon there. Mike Zunino uh, for the Rays, that'll be for Chase. That's six out of 15, oh, yeah, Kevin oh, sorry, Gossman. Uh, Jays, that'll be for Chase. Chase has the Jays and the Rays. Yeah, I like these old postcard cards. I'm a fan. Maybe someone's selling a set of those on eBay or something like that. I might have to pick one up. And there's Gavin Lux right there as well. All right, another box down. And another box to go. What's Will Smith doing? Is that a pass ball or is that a wild pitch? What happened there? Runners advancing. Yeah, there's been some, uh, I think I saw a couple Torkelson rookie cards. There's been some Wander Francos. I've not seen Bobby Witt or Julio Rodriguez just yet. But still a lot of boxes to go. It's a pass ball. Yeah, come on, Will Smith. Runners advance to second and third. They they got the shift on uh, Trent Grisham. It's gonna be weird not seeing the shift next year. Oh, did you see a Bobby Witt? Sorry, I was looking at the uh, looking at the TV here. Nice strikes out Trent Grisham. Nice Good job, Clayton. Let's get one more. Clayton Kershaw just passed Justin Verlander for most strikeouts in postseason history, 209. Although Verlander will, will get another start, I'm sure. They could be going back and forth. I like the no shift. I mean, I like the no shift rule. See ya, Michael. I wish hitters would just. I wish it just would have happened organically. I guess. You know why not? Why not just put a bunt down the third base line, or why not just uh, you know? And easier said than done, but you know, just hit the other way. You know. I wish that was a little more organic, but since it's not happening, I'm okay with the no shift. Oh yeah, there's these little mini cards too. But I guess what used to be sort of a a once in a while sort of thing. Now, like, there's being shifts on almost every play, so that's pretty good. Um, I like the you can only throw to the runner 
twice rule. I like the slightly, there's a Julio Rodriguez, I like the slightly bigger bags. So if the pillows are a little bit bigger and you can't throw it to the runner you know, a zillion times, that could encourage some more runners on the base paths, stealing bases, moving around. Julio Rodriguez could end up being a 40-40 guy. Ooh. Whoa, Shohei Otani, tops, there's the postcard. Postcard autograph variation, Shohei Otani. That's awesome. And Jarrett got the Angels in the filler. Congrats, Jarrett. Most likely got the Angels at a fraction of the price. They're Starling Marte to 15. Oh, and there's the Bobby Wood Jr. Does, does Bobby Wood Jr. always rock this stash, Gilo? Um, Bobby Wood Jr. goes to Jeff and the Royals. Starling Marte goes to Arthur and the Mets. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think there's a bit of a bit of idea stealing that go that does go back and forth between between all the manufacturers. I think. I don't know a Joe. I don't know if that. I don't know if that's really a Joe stash. That's a little more lower profile. That's almost like a the, the stash of like a a an old Buccaneer in the eighteen hundreds. But yeah, one to th one to one, one to three inches, right? A big change for the for the bases. Another Wander Franco, but I think that'll encourage some uh, that and the and the and the shift. Hopefully, that we'll see some more see some more like station to station action as opposed to just just a strikeout or a homer. I think it just makes the game a little more interesting. Tommy John saving a lot of careers. That goes to Nestor in the Yankees. Yeah, I mean, could Julio Rodriguez maybe, maybe, uh, maybe chase a 50-50 season? That's never been done. The last guy that got close was uh, was I believe Alfonso Soriano. Yeah, Terry saying Julio forty forty easy. Cleveland, this is for you. Greetings from Cleveland. There's a pitch clock too, I think. I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of ambivalent about the pitch clock. Push comes shove, I'd rather not have it, but I'm not super angry about it or super happy about it. I, I, I wish they would just kind of do away with the runner on second for, um, for regular season extra innings games. I'd rather have that get out of here and I don't know, three batter minimum? Do we like the three batter minimum? I guess I don't, I guess I'd rather not have it. Yeah, going back to shifting, Mike, Mike Moustakis beat it quite a few times with some bunts and they stopped, stopped shifting them. I don't know why, player, why more players just don't do that. Is it a pride thing? Yeah, maybe analytics says it's just more valuable just to try to hit the home run. 
or the extra base hit if you if you're a if you're a power hitter. I suppose analytics says shooting uh, shooting basketball free throws, granny style, like what Brent Berry, is far more accurate. But no one does. No one does it. No one wants to look like that. Oh, Paul McCartney was on Dana Carvey and David Spade's podcast. Yeah, I saw I saw McCartney in concert at SoFi not too long ago over the summer. Still got it. Still still spry. Still a good voice. All right, next box. Good luck. Another uh, Bobby Wood Jr. Yeah, that the 2022 did turn out to be a pretty good turn out to be a pretty good rookie class for baseball. And like multiple rookies too, I think, which is which we haven't seen in a minute or two. There's always been like, you know, one. There's Luis Gill, rookie auto. Ooh, did Max Muncy take one out? Ooh, solo shot. There you go. There you go. Let's go. 16 out of 25 on that Luis Gill. That's going to be for Nestor and the Yankees. That's Willie Dennis to 25 for the Rays. Still no score, and still only three hits total in that Phillies Braves game. Maxwell. There's Pudge right there. That's to 199. His swing was good last night, too. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, yeah thanks. Then you tie. Pudge for the Rangers, Gary. You know, Rex, I've I've uh, I've read so many so many books and read so many interviews with Paul McCartney that I'm almost certain that I've probably heard all the stories that he's told on that podcast. And there's Pedro Guerrero, Dodgers edition. That's for Chris Walker. Ooh, and a Julio Rodriguez. Another Julio Rodriguez. What I want to see more of is um, is that uh, why am I blanking on Rex? Why am I blanking on the producer, famous music producer, big mustache, old white guy? But I think was it Hulu or was it Disney Plus? Someone did like a thing where. Where Paul McCartney and him just like went down and broke down the music almost from a uh, from more of a music perspective. That's right, Rick Rubin. Thank you, good fellow. 
Man, why did I blank on that guy? It's pretty famous. But they did that. They did that one special together. That was that was super interesting because it wasn't just. Uh, hey, what was it like being in Hamburg? You know. <laughs> Which 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 is fine. I mean, which tend but that tends to be like the which tends to be like the story or the what was it like being a Beatle? What do you think of music today? You know, like but uh, to to have like two legit musicians kind of talk about like craft um, together was special. I, and I wish they really leaned more into it and I feel like I feel like I could have watched 12 more hours of them, you know, just being like, "Hey, why did you make this musical choice?" or you know, just a little more technical aspect of it, which is something that I don't think you see too often. Yeah, I mean, I, I should, yeah, I, I actually should check out some Rick Rubin literature. But yeah, he's produced almost everybody. Rex, you're right. Any sort of big, big name, you know, that he's he's done at least something with them. Um, and all, all kinds of genres, too. I mean, I would, I would love to see just a Rick Rubin show. I don't know if he'd ever do this, but to see a show where he does the similar thing he did in that Paul McCartney special. You know, bring some, uh, bring some old artists back into a studio type set or setting and just be like, hey, let's talk about how we got here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That'd be fun. But more of a technical spin on it as opposed to, you know, but really get into the weeds on it. All right, next box. We're getting to the weeds on some archives, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And a mini and an autograph. Hand numbered 14 out of 20. That's Schmitty, Mike Schmidt. That's awesome. Mini auto, Sean Gola. Got the Philly straight up. Nice. Uh, Kevin Smith was a background variation. Two eighty one is that is that a background variation? It says two eighty one. They say two eighty, I think, might be the maybe two eighty one is a background variation. Anyhow, all card ship. So in case I miss, I'm sure I've missed some other variations. Be sure to double check the numbers on the on the backs. It looks a little different. Josh Lowe, seven out of fifteen. This is, oh yeah, that's the, these ones are 260 something, 263, 253. So yeah, nice, good eye, Jonathan, good eye.
Should be looking for one more auto out of this box. Aaron Ashby, 189 to 199. Bobby Wood Jr., Spencer Torkelson. There it is, C.J. Abrams. C.J. Abrams autograph, nice. Padres, that's going to go to Robert. Hopefully one of their uh, their future stars here. Be hashtag good for the hobby. Another box. Oh, there's there's some scoring action now. Phillies Braves game. So Matt Olson singles on a ground ball to right fielder Nick Castellanos, deflected by first baseman Reese Hoskins. Ronald Acuna scores. Dansby Swanson to third. Then Austin Riley singles on a soft ground ball to the pitcher. Dansby Swanson scores. Olson to second. And Travis Darno singles on a ground ball to center. Brandon Marsh. Uh, two center fielder Brandon Marsh, Matt Olson scores, Austin Riley the third. Look at that. All of a sudden, three nothing Braves. Dodgers are up 2 1. Top of the top of the third. And we got Tim Hudson. Braves edition, Tim Hudson. That's for Emma. And the Bravos won that team in the team random. And the A's for a long time. Braves for a while. And we got a red parallel coming up. And that's Akil Badu, 10 out of 75. Royal with the Tigers. Tiger. Tiger uppercut.
And we've got Bill Mazeroski. There's an old school one there. Pirates. That's going to go to Steve Stephen Carney with that one. I think the only player to hit a walk-off home run in a Game 7. Out of Julio Rodriguez is going to Seattle. That'll be for Leonard, who got the uh, Mariners. You can find some lower number parallels. Seeing old, the old school auto is pretty cool too. And Zach Short, six out of 15. Royal getting these Torkelsons as well. They're always just that shiny. All right, all these Bobby Witts going to Jeff Thomas. season for him. Ah, it's the gloss on the card, maybe? No, it can't be. Maybe that's just his natural state. How many walk-offs to win the world, a World Series just in general? It can't be too many, right? Was the... What was the Diamondbacks? Was that to win the World Series or was that like another game? The Diamondbacks walk-off game against the Yankees. Was it Steve Finley or Luis Gonzalez maybe? Blooped a single off of Mariano Rivera to win the game. I don't know if that was for the World Series though. What other, hmm, what about, uh, yeah, I was just going to say Joe Carter's home run. That was a walk-off, and that was a World Series winner. g -Lo just looked it up, only two. Bill Mazeroski, the guy I just pulled, and Joe Carter. Right, walk-off home run. Oh, I guess the Luis Gonzalez one was walk-off, a walk-off uh, hit. What's Joe Carter doing these days? 62-year-old Joe Carter, post-retirement. I guess he did some color commentary for Toronto, for the Blue Jays for a couple seasons, then went to the Cubs for a couple seasons.
Not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. In the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame, though. In 2008, appeared on an episode of Pros vs. Joes. In 2009, along with many of his 92-93 World Ser Blue Jays World Series alumni, attended a reunion pregame ceremony at the Sky Dome. Pretty cool. 2012, uh, the Cleveland Indians honored Carter with a bobblehead. And he was there. 2015, some pregame stuff at the All-Star Game. Co-chairs the annual Joe Carter Classic, a celebrity golf tournament in Toronto. So there you go, just living his life. Another Wander Franco. So nine walk-offs in the World Series to win a World Series total, two were home runs. Bill Mazeroski, Joe Carter. What are the other seven, Gila? Do you have that list up? Almost missed that. Dustin Pedroia. Laser show. That goes to Jeffrey and the Red Sox. Nice. Or maybe people can, can guess, try to figure it out. It's Josh Bell, 82 out of 99. National edition for Derek. Terry saying, was the 86 Mets a walk-off situation, some sort of walk-off to win the World Series? There's Tony Gwynn, 19 out of 50. Oh, the Padres have tied it. All right, different Julio Rodriguez here. For Seattle, that'll be for Leonard. We've mostly been seeing this version, though. And Travis Ishikawa. Autograph for the Giants. That'll be for John and the Giants. And another Bobby Wood Jr. for Jeff. All right, two boxes to go. We're almost there. These kind of a thicker plastic wrap on these two. There's Bryce Harper. Ah, Gilo has a list for us. Edgar Renteria, Luis Gonzalez, Gene Larkin, Billy Martin, Goose Goslin, Bing Miller, Earl McNeely were the other seven walk-offs, non-homers.
And what, what, I wonder if someday, maybe in our lifetime, there may be a World Series decided by a, a walk-off walk. That, that, that could be a real frustrating way to, uh, to lose a World Series with the walk-off walk. Who are there? Rex saying there are Jeter and Judge dual autos in this. Well, we still got two boxes and four autographs to go. Two here and two in the last box. Nestor got randomized the Yankees in the uh, team random. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So the walk-off World Series, gilo has got some more information for us. Happened three times in the 90s. So Joe Carter in 92. Luis Gonzalez must be 98 or 99. Late 90s, right? Was it late 90s? I thought that was early 2000s. Yeah, Luis Gonzalez 2001. I remember because nobody wanted the Diamondbacks to win. It was post 9-11 and everyone wanted the Yankees to win. Not some expansion team. Yeah, Adam saying it was 2001. What's the half? Ian Happ to Now, although although Adam's saying even though the more relevant walk off was the Mr. November home run, but he may be a little biased to the Yanks. Ah, it was Edgar Ren Edgar Renteria in ninety seven. Who won the World Series in ninety seven? Was he was he a that's a F Phillies Cardinals? I don't think the Phillies Cardinals. Joe Carter Blue Jays, Gene Larkin, 91. That's Reds. That's a Reds World Series. Well, you were at that game, Adam. That's pretty awesome. Marlins in 90s. That's right. Marlins did get one. Here's Garrett Anderson, an angel in the outfield, going to Jared. Derek Jeter. And there's Luis Gill, rookie autograph for Nestor and the Yankees.
speaking of the Marlins, Don Mattingly and uh, I think amicably parting ways with the Marlins. Um, I wonder how quickly he gets back into uh, to coaching. And the final postcard, nice Mike Trout. Angels, Jarrett with the Angels. Terry's doing a little research saying the Jeter auto in this set is on a 1953 retro card and it looks sweet. What's up, bases loaded? Guess what started early? Ooh. Nice. Trey Turner with another home run. Had one yesterday. Hits a solo shot today. Ties the game 3-3. Um... This break, it was showing 7, 7, 15. No, I, I changed it. Times change subject to, uh, subject to change without notification. We had some help with that double header break. I do not remember if, uh, where, where, where your positioning was, Gary. I wasn't really attention to that but the video should be up that's true and this is a trade turn of course it's his walk here oh Chad Hello, there's Chad Daw, our friend in the Pacific Northwest. You okay? I think I'm ready to talk about yesterday. That was brutal, man. Next box, last box, TJ Friedel. 112 out of 125, Reds. Yeah, I mean, we were, uh, we were, um, we had the, obviously we had the game on the TV out there. And, um, And uh, I think the entire shop, we had all stopped to watch this last at bat, and all and all of us trying to kind of scratching our heads as to why you would bring a starter in at that juncture of the game, a situation that he, I mean, if he if he had done it before, yeah, I mean, I would, I'd be like, oh, okay, I can see that, you know, but but yeah, I mean, and. Yeah, even Grizzlebee's nine-year-old asked, asked uh, why why would they pitch to Jordan there? No answer. Here's Gary Sheffield, Brewers edition. Yeah, and so we were all just kind of scratching our heads, and 
wondering why they would do that. Eighty out of ninety-nine, and it's not like the it's not like the Mariners have a bad it's not like they have a bad bullpen. You know, so like I thought. There's Andrew Vaughn for Adam and the White Sox. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they have a bad bullpen either. They've got a really solid bullpen. You're telling me there weren't any other arms in there. Ooh. Well, basically, like I always say, buy your team straight up. Save yourself that heartache from, from the, the cruelty of Ram.org. If you're not having some luck there, you know, buy your team straight up. There's Kershaw, 17 out of 50. But there was no there was no one else. Yeah, maybe Swanson should have come in. I mean I didn't the, I think the I think Mariners manager also made it seem like that that was something they had planned, but what was it though? You really only had the middle relievers left, but aren't the? It's got to be a better option than, than Robbie Ray, Bobby Witt Jr., Royals, Jeff. And there's Eddie uh, Brissot for the Red Sox. That's our second auto. So the Sheffield went to Christopher and the Brewers. And this goes to Jeffrey and the Red Sox. But hey, Chad, Mariners, Mariners just have to, uh, Mariners just have to, they got to have short memories. You know what I mean? There's your recap, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little mini autograph right there. Thanks for watching. Nice show of Otani. A couple gooses at the beginning as well. That was 10 Box Picker Team 1. Brand new release. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.